By using the sample drawing for this session, drawings of the sketch and model are found in the blocks palette. These blocks can be inserted into the editor at any stage. The sketch can be viewed from World Plan View. The model can be viewed from an isometric viewpoint. Be sure to make use of the Isolate or Hide tool when viewing the model or the sketch. The sketch and model in the blocks palette are provided so you can check the accuracy of your design. Always remember to explode objects which have been inserted from the blocks palette. Produce two straight intersecting lines to represent center lines. Insert three concentric circles onto the intersection to the following sizes. Use the Parallel tool to create the first two offsets from the horizontal center line. To create an array of the first gear tooth, the first one must be constructed accurately. This segment of the gear and the circle diameter will be constructed. The total angle of the connection points is 22 and a half degrees. For this reason, a line will be drawn from the center of the circles at 11.25 degrees. Draw the second line at an angle of 348.75. From this geometry, the following shape must be extracted. This is done by splitting the outer circles and using the Object Trim tool. Select the Split tool, taking care to split the circles at the indicated intersections. The outer portion of the circle can now be deleted. The same method can be used on the inner circle. The object trim tool can now be used by selecting the arcs as cutting edges.
This gear tooth can now be arrayed 16 times around the circle center point. To prepare the sketch for 3D, first remove the construction sketch geometry. Right click and select the isometric southeast viewpoint. Select the simple extrude tool, making sure the compound profile option is selected. Select the outer gear profile, then hold down the shift key and select the inner circle. Create a positive extrusion to a height of 10.